you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find that it's your cup of tea after you watch this. So today's video is going to be the long-awaited apartment tour. I'm going to take you guys through the apartment and kind of do an overview of like the aesthetic and the theme that I'm trying to go for, the kind of style that I'm going for and all the colors and things that I bought to make it, you know, to make it my style, to make it my own. You can already see that I have um, Christmas bedding. Now that I have my own bed again, um, I decided to put the Christmas bedding that I got back at Christmas from mom and dad. And it's amazing. Um, this could be the first thing that I talk about. It's flannel. It's not flannel as in it's checkered or flannel style. It's just flannel and it's feeling and I love this. It's from Target. I have a gray and a cream one, but I have the Christmas one on for right now. I will link as much as I can down below of everything that I talk about, pretty much everything I talk about, so you guys can go easily find it. And feel free to comment or DM me on Instagram if you see something and I haven't uh, linked it for some reason and you just can't find it, let me know um, what you see. And if I haven't linked it, then I will be happy to share where I got it. So what I was saying before is this is just going to be a quick kind of overview of my apartment. I will try and make it short and sweet and quick and um, kind of let you see the aesthetic of the place and the style and all the bits that I've chosen to make it my own in each room. But I will also be making individual videos um, of all the kind of adaptive equipment or adaptive technologies that I've used that I've bought, I should say, to make um, living here alone easier for me. I've kind of modified it for my limitations and my specific needs. For example, the Nespresso. I, I'm going to make a full video on just the Nespresso and why I chose that particular one um, over another one because it suits my particular uh, needs for my maybe my disability, my chronic illness, whatever you want to call it, just just my differences and what I find important in in a coffee machine is way different than let's say your average person is looking for. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be in it, but I did get all glammed up um, for this section to intro it. So um, I will try and be in it as much as I can, but I will mainly just be showing off the apartment and the bits and bobs that I've gotten to make it my own. So let's go, let's start with the bedroom. Right. So I got this radiator, which is perfect. And there's even a remote so I can be um, at my bed and just control it with a remote. So that's perfect for somebody who has um, a chronic illness or just has limited energy at the end of the day or any time of the day and doesn't want to come over and bend over and change the heat. We can do it right from our bed. decided to get this dispenser instead of a water jug because I knew that it would be too heavy for me to try and uh, fill up or lift a heavy jug and fill up my water bottles. <music> down 
here with these organizers from Target. Now built in is the sliding drawer, but it has these gaps. So I put, I found these plastic uh, cheap kind of like liners, flat liners from Target for literally a dollar or so. And I just put them on here and now things like this don't like fall through or even smaller things like the sugar or other mugs don't fall through the gaps. So that's a little hack there. If you do end up purchasing this one, find something like a cutting board or a plate or even this kind of cheapo plastic um, drawer insert almost. I think that's what you call it because um, no one's going to see it when you close it. And then here's the automatic bin that I'll go into in another video. I will of course link it down below now. This is my recycling bin. Uh, the actual bin is from Ikea. I've had it for ages, but this is now my recycling bin. And this is the pale liner from Marley's Monsters that I recently purchased and it's reusable, washable. You just chuck the recycling into the recycling bin outside and if it is dirty, if anything did leak out of the items that you threw in there, you could just wash this and you can just reuse it over and over again and save on plastic trash bags. chosen to decorate it um, trying to keep to one theme as best as possible but also um, useful and practical as well having things in reach again I will make a dedicated video to all the adaptions that I've made specifically just for the bathroom again if you have questions that I haven't yet addressed then feel free to comment below or DM me on Instagram uh, my handle will be on the screen. You can look forward to more videos coming from me very soon with all the adaptive equipment and devices and technologies that I've used all throughout my apartment to aid in my independent living um, the best as possible. Once I've gone through all of the technologies or devices or equipment that I've already purchased for this place, I will then go on to find other adaptive tools um, that I uh, maybe haven't discovered. Or just things that people might not think about um, on a daily basis that actually do help a lot in my daily living. Somebody with uh, chronic, you know, this works for people with chronic illness, with uh, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, uh, different disabilities, different illnesses, um, a wide range of limitations. If you know of anybody that falls into that category or similar with um, tight joints, a limited range of motion, short stature as well, just in general that people that are just in, just uh, short, you know, I think these videos would definitely help you or someone that you know. So again, share this video, like and comment and subscribe. It really gets the video out there to, for other people to see. And I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, and then look out for all those other videos coming soon. They're gonna be on my Nespresso, on my automatic trash can, on things like the step stools that are all around here, but they all have um, a lot of explanation behind them. So I'd love for you to come back to this channel and ring the bell for notifications for whenever I post. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.